welcome to our Mathematics 7 class. So, for today's lesson, we have a Venn diagram. So, some applications of Venn diagram. In a class, 15 likes English, 20 likes Filipino, and then 10 likes both English and Filipino. So, the question is, how many students are there in all? So, first, let's have a Venn diagram. Okay, so let's have the rectangle for our universal set. Now, how are we going to um, determine if we're going to um, um, overlap the two circles or um, separate it? So, let's check if they have common or the term both. So, in this case, we have the term both. Therefore, we're going to overlap those two circles. So, first is for the English, the blue one, and then Filipino for the pink circle. And then, in this case, let's always start in the middle, in the common or both. So, since in this part we have 10, likes both English and Filipino, we can already write it in the middle portion. Alright. Now, how are we going to write um, those who likes in English? Okay, we have 15 likes English. In this case, it is uh, 10 in the middle part is already inside the circle of English. Therefore, we're just going to subtract it. So, 15 minus 10, we're just going to have 5. 5, that is inside um, in the circle of English only. Okay? How about for Filipino? Same. So, we have 20 likes Filipino. 20 students who likes Filipino. Therefore, we already have 10 in the middle who likes Filipino that is still included in the pink circle. Therefore, we're just going to subtract 20 minus 10 and that is equal to 10. Okay? So, now, the question, we have how many students are there in all? Okay, all you have to do is just to add. So, we have 25 students. Add all the numbers inside the two circles. So, 5 plus 10, 15 plus 10, we have 25 students. This is a little bit complicated. Why? So, 50 people were asked about the pets they keep at home. So, how are we going to show this one? So, let's use Venn diagram. Let's say set D for people who have dogs, F, people who have fish, C, people who have cats. So, in this case, we're going to use how many circles? Three. So, first, let's have a rectangle, but it looks like a square here, whatever. It is just the same. Um, sometimes, you can use circle, uh, rectangle. We can use sometimes a square. Okay. So, we have a... Three circles, overlapping circles. Okay. We have this data for set D. We have the green circle. For F, set F, we have the blue circle. And then for cut, set C, we have the pink circle. Now, let's answer. Okay. Those are the given data or numbers. Okay. First, let's answer the following question. So, how many people have... Letter A, dogs. So, how many people who have dogs? Okay, let's, uh, this time, let's take a look at the green circle. So, that one with yellow shade this time. So, dogs, let's count how many and let's total. Let's add it. 19 plus 12 plus 1 plus 7 and that is equal to 39, correct? Now, how about for letter B, dogs only? Okay, how about this time? What is the difference between dogs and then dogs only? So, let's take a look again at the green circle, the set of dogs. So, we have the yellow shade uh, again. But this time, it refers to only. Yung may alagang aso lang. Okay, let's take a look at the given diagram. Alright, so we remove the yellow shade that is overlapping from the 
fish from the blue circle and then we remove also uh, from the pink circle so this time we only have what okay the 19 uh, people only 19 who have dogs only walang ibang halong hayop sa bahay okay let us see dogs and fish okay we have this conjunction and so it refers again to what to intersection to intersection the one that is overlapping overlapping of what dogs and fish so we have okay that yellow shade the shaded region so this green is for the dog and then blue is for the fish therefore that is the part wherein they overlap so if we're going to add it we have only eight eight people who have dogs and fish dogs or cats so how about if we have dogs or cats so again we have this conjunction or okay or meaning to say union all okay so all elements included in dogs so we have the yellow shade for the green circle and then of course we have the yellow shade for the pink circle so if we're going to combine all those um digits all those numbers we have 42 okay next how about letter e fish and cats again we have this conjunction and so it means intersection common only to fish and then cuts to blue circle and then pink circle so we have fish and guts so that is the part wherein they overlap for the fish and then cuts but not those so this one is the part of the dog because it is included in the green circle therefore let's just remove all right and then we have what okay there is no number or there is no digit and that is equal to zero okay next letter f dogs or fish but not cats so we have or and then that means union all elements so we have for the dogs and then for the fish okay so we have the green circle and then the blue circle but not cats so we have the pink circle we have the, those yellow parts so let's just remove all right so we're going to add only 19 7 and then 6 that's why we have 32 32 who have dogs or fish so num letter g we have all three so how many people who have all three they have dogs fish and cats three animals at home so we have only the shaded part that is in the middle so we have the green the green color for dogs and then blue for fish and then pink for cats so we have only one and then last is neither one of the three so when you say neither wala okay walang may gusto sa kanilang lahat or walang may alagang dogs fish and then cats so how many okay if we're going to uh total those numbers inside those three circles we have okay 48 so in this case we have the year, uh, yellow shade outside those three circles so how many people who do not have um pets at the at their home so we have only two why because we have how many people who were asked or surveyed P, uh, 50 people only so those 50 minus 48 and those two people that is located outside outside those three circles so maybe in this part this part so those are some applications of venn diagram